Mom, what's for dinner? Well, hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Morgan. Today we're gonna be making chili for dinner. I have something to attend tonight and instead of rushing to make food as soon as I get home to fill our bellies, I decided I'm gonna get something in the slow cooker now so it'll be ready for dinner tonight. So enough chit chat, let's go ahead and get started. So I have one pound of ground beef. I'm gonna add that to my cast iron. This was partially frozen still, so it's gonna take a little bit to cook. But anything I can scrape off, I'm going to. While this is cooking, let's chop up our onions. So while the hamburger is going, we're gonna chop up these onions. I have two onions, but depending on how oniony I want it, I might just do this one. I'm still deciding. I did forget to mention that I have beans on the stove as well. I just have dry beans right now in the house, so I went ahead and cooked them, or I guess pre-cooked them this morning, so I would be able to do this. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add this other onion, if I don't cry. Because we are going to be adding this onion to the hamburger for it to cook with it, and then adding it into the crock pot. Normally, I just throw the onions in raw, but I wanted to see if cooking them, sorry, if cooking them with the hamburger would bring out more flavor or just kind of break them more Break them down more instead of just having more of a raw onion flavor but that is what I love so much about cooking is it's all basically an experiment as to what you like more. <laughs> ah. My baby's here with me so if you hear anything it's just him and you know you're a mom when you're you know sneaking your kids Cheerios just to kind of keep them quiet while you're doing something. <laughs> but he's played here. He's an absolute joy. Okay, now that I've got this all chopped, we're gonna add it to the hamburger. Got all the onions added in. We're just gonna let this continue to cook. I'm gonna break that hamburger apart as soon as it begins to thaw. And then right over here, our beans have been pre-cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and get them in the slow cooker. All right, so I have my beans drained. I did two cups of pinto beans and two cups of black beans because I didn't have any kidney beans on hand. So I'm just using what I have. All right, so the ground beef is almost done. I just have a little bit of that black left. I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic in. I'm gonna do two scoops of minced garlic. My husband and I absolutely love, love garlic. So I add a lot. All right, so while that ground beef and onion and garlic is finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes in. I made, if you watch that 1870s homestead, Rachel's chili base and OMG, is it a game changer? I will find the link to her chili base recipe and I will link it down in the description box because this is all her, I just followed her recipe. So I made it, Back in October of 2022, oh my gosh, it is literally so, 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 so good. It has everything in it. I am going to add more spices just because I like a heavily flavored chili, but you literally, it's like all in one jar. You don't have to even add any spices at all. It is dynamite. They are my absolute, that 1870s homestead is my absolute favorite YouTube channel. I love watching Todd and Rachel. I just 
love, love, love their channel. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. They are, they're awesome. I love watching them. They are my favorite YouTubers. I'm gonna go ahead and drain a quart jar that I have of quarter tomatoes. I didn't get all of the liquid out, but I got the majority. I'm gonna add this in. If you had diced tomatoes, I would do diced tomatoes, but I only have quarter tomatoes that are, that I canned, so quarter tomatoes it is. Next, I'm gonna add in one quart of the 1870s chili base. That's what I like to call it. And it is thick and delicious. Oh. I've just got my spoon that I was stirring the beans with. I'm gonna mix it all up. And then if I need to add more chili base, I will. I got three quart or two quarts and one pint out because I wasn't quite sure how much I was gonna need. I think I might need to add the pint in. 1870s chili base. All right, just add it in that pint and that should be good. All right, you don't have to add more seasonings if you're following Rachel's uh, chili base recipe, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm just gonna sprinkle in some salt just because I didn't season the, season the hamburger at all. I'm gonna add pepper, oregano, garlic powder, chili powder, and cumin. That's smelling heavenly. <laughs> I think I forgot to mention, I did two, two cups of black beans and two cups of pinto beans. I might have said it, I don't remember. But I just pre-cooked them. I had some hot water going on the stove, or boiling. I put the beans in, brought it back up to a boil, boiled it for two minutes, and then cut the heat and let it sit for an hour. And then they were still harder, so I just was simmering them on the stove while I was getting ready. So they are much more to a desired consistency right now instead of being harder than what I wanted them to be. Because the last time I made chili with dry beans, I, I did the same exact method and they were still hard after like eight hours in the slow cooker. So that's why I decided to go ahead and just simmer them a little bit longer to see if I like this consistency of them better. So now let's go back and check on the hamburger because that's the last little bit that we need to add in. All right. So it is almost done. And I'm using the organic grass fed ground beef from Aldi's. I absolutely love it. And you can see there's literally no grease in this pan. You don't have to even worry about if there was fat in the pan because it's all nice healthy fat. So even if you did keep all the fat in, it would be a very, very beneficial fat. I think these onions, since they're kind of caramelized now, are going to lead to just an absolute amazing flavor in this chili. All right, beef is done. Now just to add it to the crock pot. All right, let's go ahead and add this beef in here. Is anyone else listening to Christmas music already? <laughs> I know it's a kind of random question, but I started listening to it about two days ago. We have a, like a kind of like a record player, CD player, all in one. And my baby loves to dance to the music and have you dance to it. So instead of listening to like country that I usually listen to, I put on Christmas music and dance to that with him. So I was just, I was just curious if anyone else is listening to Christmas music. It's November 14th today. 
So, I don't know, listening to it sure makes me want to break out the Christmas decorations. <laughs> I told myself that I had to wait till December 1st to put up any decorations. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait that long. It's just every time I listen to it, I'm like, oh, I need, I really need to put up my tree. I might just wait until my husband is home for a day and be able to put it up with him. Because he doesn't mind if I put it up, but I like doing it with someone, you know, especially your spouse or significant other. It's just a really cherished memory to me of putting it up with my family. So I love to put it up with my family now, like my husband and obviously my baby is way too small to be putting up a Christmas tree, but once he gets big enough, I'd love to be able to do it with him. So if you have any fun memories or want to share anything about your family's Christmases, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> he wants some chili already. Cheerio. Yeah. All right, now I'm just gonna mix the hamburger, onions, and garlic all in. I am too excited for this. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to, for it to fill the house up <laughs> with it being cooking all day long. Ooh, my mouth is gonna be watering all day. While it's cooking, I will go through and stir it every once in a while since I will be home for the next few hours. And if it needs a little bit more liquid, I will add some chicken broth that I have in the fridge. I would do beef broth, but I already have chicken broth open, so that's what I would use. All right, finally, I'm going to plug my crock pot in, or your slow cooker, whatever you use. I just have a crock pot. This is gifted to me by my mom back when I got married, which will be five years in December. I can't, cannot believe that time has flown by this freaking fast. It's insane time can slow down any day now someone let it know <laughs> all right so i'm going to turn my slow cooker just to low since this is probably going to be cooking for at least at least eight hours <laughs> at least eight hours that's why i have it on low so i will bring you all back when this is done so i've had this going for the past eight hours all of the flavors have melded together. Now let's go ahead and dish it up. All right, so how I like to eat my chili is I like sour cream and cheese with mine. And if there's oyster crackers around, I like to put those in. But I'm just going to do just straight chili right now. That way I get the full flavor of what it's supposed to be. I can already tell it's going to be amazing because it smells just divine. I absolutely love chili. I love food. That's that's honestly what it is. <laughs> you know, I love chili. It just is so comforting on a cold fall day. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm-hmm. This is so good. The beans are nice and tender. They are much better than the last time I made chili with dry beans. They're not mushy, but they still have some integrity to them, which is awesome. The beef is great. The tomatoes are great. Rachel's chili base is absolutely fantastic. And again, I will link her video down in the description box. I just really love their channel and what they do. That's why I'm giving them so much praise and love because they're just... They seem like two awesome, genuine people, and I love watching their videos. So thank you all so much for watching as I made this chili for dinner tonight. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you all in the next Mom, What's for Dinner video. Bye!